Hello, welcome back. How you doing? How you living? As always, no crazy intros, no flashy graphics, no speedy music, just straight to the video. We're back on the grind, but good news, this video is shorter than 30 minutes. It's a speedy venture. I don't have much to say about this side mission. It's basically just like, hey guys, there was a phoenix in the movies. How about a phoenix? going to be a total dick and just screw with these guys from this little crevice that they can't crawl under. This part always cracks me up, just straight up murder. Thank <laughs> you. 
Bird just recognizes true power and gives up. Yep, still wearing green stuff. So for context, the uh, equipment that I'm wearing ranges from anywhere from zero to less than half of the default power of the highest grade equipment. And the highest grade equipment can be further upgraded. So it will eclipse the, the actual power of the uh, starting the green well-appointed armors.
So Poppy's quest line hits a hard limit, and I had no choice but to start another one. Nothing complicated about it. Blast everybody. Ask me why I just didn't end that person right now in midair with freaking ancient magic. Maybe I'm just too sinister. Combo juggling is honestly pretty fun though, to be honest. I tell you though, if I was some low level bug and I just saw some 13, 14 year old end the boss's life with the blink of an eye, I'd probably just shit myself right there and give up. <laughs>
Come on now, Natsai knows how to use Alohomora. Could have just done this for me, but no, I had to play the unlock mini game. So this uh, mission we're going to do in two sections to keep the video light. We're going to have the first section be the crawl up the mountain and the second section be the actual dungeon, which will be the next video because that one itself is also quite lengthy. Let's go, quickly, before we're spotted. Keep a close eye out. I saw some of Ranrock's crew moving off the path just ahead. I wonder why. Raiding, I imagine. This mountain used to safeguard local hamlet valuables. But it's been abandoned ever since Ranrock... Let me see. Ah! Can bring them. Ah! 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 You are a in the inevitable! Ah! Ah! I won't rest. As if you could You won't get away with that. What are you doing? What is this? Bombarder! Thestrals overhead. Some consider them a bad omen. Hmm. Not everyone does. I know that. <sighs> All right. I'm making small talk. I'm not going to trek up this mountain in silence. I bet the Thestral Nest is close by. 
kill any who trespass. Wait, we should have some sort of plan. Confringo. Enjoy the country. I don't understand the writing on this part of the uh, storyline. Um, the character motivation is just like so fickle. Like ordinarily, my character is just incredibly agreeable with everybody. Just has no opinion of their own, and all of a sudden now I'm just very concerned. It's just uh, makes no sense, honestly. I don't understand what the hell's going on. It's like. Uh, it's time for me to just disagree and have an argument, <laughs> and here's the moment I do it. We're still skipping the scene, so the you won't really see the text for the argument we have after we get up the hill, but it's, uh, it's quite hilarious. I've been fighting since before you were born. Looks like Branrock's loyalists were heading further up the path. Let's keep going. Ramrock's gonna make everyone pay. Anything made from goblin silver belongs to us. Whether it's a sword or a repository, whatever that is. Did you hear that goblin? Ridiculous notions of ownership. Gifringo! Good wizards a dead wizard. Ranrock's got that right. After this encounter will be the conclusion of this video. The second half of this uh, mission will be in the next video, so stay tuned for that. We'll see you then. You're no match for me! Oh, I will make you pay. Okay. Oh. Let's get this over. This must be it. Uh. Sebastian. A great
greed. 